peace and many blessings, family. I am Wunam, aka Nikki Love, aka Ifa Dumeni Nu Ayek Bemi. I got many spiritual names, but most of all, I am your African Indigenous traditional healer. And tonight, I'm going to be doing a reading for the sign of Gemini. What I see for the month for Gemini, okay? Well, I pulled some cards. I also have this uh, astrological, cosmological divination mat right here that we're going to read, okay? Um, with the cards of Gemini, you, this month, you want to be less insecure, okay? Gemini, be less insecure. Some of you Geminis are very... Um, insecure you want to focus on you know letting go of past things in your life you want to focus on you know not holding on or holding grudges gemini let it go because you're damaging yourself okay um also gemini you got to stop with the negative thinking do not think negative some of you gemini's have a very bad habit of thinking negative and then one day you'll think positive that's the double that's the twins that's the twins okay but do not think negative okay um also gemini says unexpected changes in finances and health family established situation is in a flux or unstable so be mindful of the unexpected changes do be mindful of taking care of your health you know you you might feel like you're okay and then you wake up and you're not feeling okay so gemini do be mindful of the unexpected change with your health finances and family if you're going through some changes at home divorce or maybe divorce or you know anything like that um, do go to your ancestors and ask your ancestors for guidance, okay? Ask your ancestors for guidance. Now, let's throw the uh, bones and the stones and see what they say here on the astrological, cosmological map. For Gemini? Okay, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, Gemini, where's my little uh, feather thing? You know, it's on the, on the shrine in there with the ancient ancestors. Okay, now, Gemini, if you're in a relationship, um, right here, right here. If you can see me pointing right here, this turns up on the red side. And this just means that you are dealing with a male. If you're a female, okay, this represents a male, this represents female. That is very negative. And it shows that there's some energy being pulled on by this male, okay, towards the female. Now, this fell down, okay? It fell down. Now, if you notice, it fell on the U. And I had to get my little pointer family. It fell on the U, which is the actual uh, change, as we've seen in the cards as well, okay? Um, this male, all right, is a grounded male, uh, very spirit, physical, and he's a non-spiritual being. It looks like the female is the uh, physical uh, spiritual being, okay? But this male is not spiritual. He's very grounded, physical being. He's not into spirituality like that. But he's pulling on your energy. And if that's the case, you need to be talking to him or, or getting him to make some changes. It also comes up that he may be a water sign, okay? He may be a water sign. He falls on the water, okay? So um, be, be mindful of this male, right? Now, this falls right in the middle of what represents the feminine energy, okay? Ladies, if you're Geminis, and this is not just for Geminis, this is for all signs. Ladies, it's time to get a little bit more feminine. It's time to come back to femininity, being more feminine, wearing feminine dresses, wearing dresses, and being a little bit more ladylike. You tell me you may not like it, but oh well, too bad, okay? It is what it is. It's just that time, okay? Now, we have the tiger eye stone that falls on the spiritual cleanse. So, Geminis, whatever you're going through, it, fall, it all falls in sync together, the cards with the change, the health. You have to take a spiritual cleanse. Spirit is saying you need a spiritual cleanse, spiritual protection, spiritual uh let me see spiritual journey spiritual call you are going through a transformation in your life so these changes that we've seen in the card the unexpected change the finances of family is calling for you to do a ser serious spiritual cleanse and start thinking about the transformation you're going through in your life okay now and and also too now you see this little shell right here this this oblong shell it falls in an ancient wisdom ancient being physically existing here a dozen years or more. You've been here for a very long time. So Geminis, a lot of you may have uh, past lives here for many, 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 many years, okay? Um, and you be, were saying that this right here shows your money. You're going to you're gonna be blessed. If you're having money problems right now and your money's are kind of, you know, low or slow, I like to say, you're going get, to get blessed soon, okay? 
Now, um, let's see, let's see, let's, let's see. Okay, so now we have this shell, okay? This is another seashell telling you to be mindful of enemies, Gemini. Be mindful of your enemies, okay? Be mindful of spiritual uh, work and spells, chaos and evil, high priest and high priestess, okay? And what I'm seeing, now I'm going to use my first side, what I'm seeing is, some of you Geminis may be experiencing some things in your life to change with the family. Like it said, the cars, the family, the finances, and the health. They're basically saying that there's some type of spiritual work being done on you. This is not for all Geminis. But if you're experiencing some things, be mindful of spiritual work being done on you. You may want to call in to our website and book a reading. WunamandAdinkra.com. That's W-U-N-A-M as in Mary. And A-N-D. A D I N K R A dot com for a full reading because when this falls here, that means there's some type of manipulation going on in your life. So, with the cards, it says unexpected changes. It could be that somebody is doing spiritual work on you. It could be a high priest, a high priestess. I would have to read it further for you. This is not that time, but if you want to get a reading from when you book, book one on our website, okay? Um, let's see the carry shell or the no, the other shell. We have a, a, another shell. No, that's a stone. Okay, one of the oh, if I forgot the name of this stone, that's a doggone shame, y'all. But anyway, this stone, that's highlight. oh, highlight. Okay, there you go. Thank you, thank you, brother. Thank you. Highlight falls on the planet Neptune. Okay, highlight. the planet Neptune. Pay attention, Gemini, to your intuition. Pay attention to your dreams. Get a book and make sure when you get up, you write down your dreams because they're going to mean something in your life as you're going through a transformation, okay? So pay attention. When this highlight stone falls on Neptune, dreams, intuition, unconscious, be aware of making sure that you ask for guidance from your ancestors, okay, to become more consciously aware because right now you're unconscious you're going through a major transformation in your life gemini so uh get ready some gemini's you're going to be having some good days some you're going to have some bad days okay but do embrace the energy of the transformation because all gemini's are, are going to be going through a transformation this right right here again represents the feminine energy all right so,